So, Mount St. Helens, a volcano part of the Cascade Range, located in Washington in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, is behind one of the most famous eruptions in America. Now, hold on. I know exactly what you're thinking. This is one of those super boring class project presentations that you have to do as homework. And yes, indeed, you are very correct. Will this be boring? Definitely. Am I going to enjoy making this? Absolutely not. So you guys are in for a treat, because you get to listen to me talk about Mount St. Helens for give or take 3 or 4 minutes. Maybe less if I love myself that much. So now I'm going to shut up with my nonsense and actually get started on this. I also feel really weird and uncomfortable because I'm just sat in my room alone talking to myself, like a weirdo. On the 18th of May, 1980, a major volcanic eruption occurred at Mount St. Helens. The eruption was preceded by a two-month series of earthquakes and steam venting episodes caused by an injection of magma at a shallow depth below the volcano that created a large bulge and fracture system on the mountain's north slope. On the day of the eruption, an earthquake at 8.32am caused the entire week in North Face to slide away, creating the largest landslide ever recorded. This allowed partly molten rock, high pressure gas and steam rich rock in the volcano to suddenly explode northwards towards Spirit Lake in a hot mix of lava and pulverised over rock overtaking the avalanching face. Harry R. Truman, the innkeeper of Spirit Lake, had refused to evacuate from his house despite previous warnings and was sadly killed along with 56 other people, including photographers Reed Blackburn and Robert Landsberg and geologist David A. Johnston. Hundreds of square miles were reduced to wasteland, causing over $1 billion in damage. Thousands of animals were killed, and Mount St. Helens was left with a crater on its north side. The eruption actually reduced the volcano's height by about 1,280 feet. It also left a crater 1-2 to two miles wide and 2,100 feet deep. The ash from the volcano spread to 11 other states in America. The eruption lasted for 9 entire hours. Minor eruptions also continued into 1986. So, I don't think I've ever put this much effort into a homework in my entire life. Until now. And... I, I think we really just need to wrap it all up because I'm I'm dying. Yeah, yeah. Rewind time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now we know where Mount St. Helens is located and how it's a volcano part of the Cascade Range. We know about its explosion in 1980. And last but not least, why you shouldn't do an animation for a homework project. But in all honesty, thank you guys so much for being super patient with this. I hope you enjoyed this kind of, and um, don't forget to subscribe to PewDiePie!